Hello and welcome fellow book, sorry, I'll try that again. Hello and welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. This week's book review is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now this book and the book I'm going to review next week as well is not the kind of book that I would normally go for myself. Um, and so I'm part of the book group that I mentioned that got me um, the Collins book. Uh, they, I, every now and then I'll see sort of like everyone be like, have you seen this book? Have you seen this book? Uh, and I'll be like, do you know what? I'll give it a go. And I gave this one a go and I was so happy about it because it's like, I can't stand biographies. I don't like reading about p real people's lives. I just, I don't care about real people's lives. It's that, no, no, that sounds really, really bad. <laughs> I care about actual people's lives. I just don't care about reading about what happened in their lives. It's just, it doesn't grab me. It's like documentaries. It's not my thing. So this is like a mockumentary, like a, a mock doc biography basically. And it follows, um, it follows Monique, um, who's been requested by Evelyn Hugo, this big, massive Hollywood icon that's been going for years since the 1950s. And Evelyn Hugo has requested Monique to do this biography, her biography, um, to tell the world what happened with her, with her seven husbands, with her life and everything like that. And, you, you, you know, throughout the book, you're kind of trying to guess why Monique is has been picked. And then when you find out why Monique was picked to do the biography, you're not disappointed. It's a, like, you sat there going, oh, that's really good. And it's not the classic trope that you think it would be. And you're sat there going, so this is obviously why she would have been picked. And then as it goes on, you're like, okay, it's not that, it's not that. So what could it be? And then when you find out, you're like, okay. Okay, there, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'll give you your juice. That was very good. But it was so good it was so well written like it's broken down into sort of like the chapters that like the it's broken down into her husband's basically so it starts off with Monique and then it goes into when she's talking to um Evelyn so like poor Ernie Diaz Diaz sorry and that's her first husband and then it sort of like breaks it down and it it, it tells so Ernie Diaz Diaz sorry the reason why she married him well, it's because she was poor, uh, she wanted to get to Hollywood, and he was the ticket to Hollywood, so she does it. But it's so well written, it's so brilliantly written, and what I love the most, and honestly, the whole way through the book, is there's sometimes when, like, something goes, like, something happens that Evelyn's done. Um, I'm saying Evelyn, it could be Evelyn, but I like Evelyn, I feel like that's a nice, you know, name. Um, but yeah, so something that she's done, and you sat there going, okay, that's a little bit underhanded, but then she turns around and goes, I did what I did, I'm not ashamed. It is that they know what they're in for. And I'm like, do you know what? That's really good because nine times out of ten you're getting it, especially with women who would marry or do something to get ahead. They're like, oh, that's horrible. That's really underhanded. Like, they really shouldn't be doing that. And it's like, well, hang on a minute. Men do it. Why can't women? And it's like at one point as well, she's unapologetic about the fact that she didn't want kids because she knew that her career would end if she had kids. She would become a mother. And it's because of the time frame that obviously this... Um, character was written in she knew that at that point obviously now it's slightly different you see a lot of actresses still working you know you know they cover up their baby bumps and everything like that and then they still got work after and they don't really disappear but more often than not once a once an actress has a child they kind of vanish because they then become a mum rather than an actress and it was just so good how she was so unapologetic about her choices about what she did why she did it and I I genuinely was just sat back going, do you know what? This is really, really good. She was so well written. She wasn't an offensive character. She wasn't a character that was like, you sat there going, oh, I hate you. You literally sat there going, I understand why she did what she did. Because at one point she was like, well, I was good looking. I used that in my favour. I knew I had the looks. So obviously I'm going to use it. And I'm like, yeah why wouldn't you if she knows that she's going to be used for her looks anyway she might as well do it to get herself where she needs to be and it was just i honestly thank you so much to the book hangout club on facebook because i wouldn't have picked this up and i probably wouldn't have added it to my read list but it's just such a great read and it's so unapologetic and i just i love it and it will definitely be a reread um it gets a it gets a four out of five from me not quite a five out of five because there are certain parts in it where it did make me feel really uncomfortable and I suppose that's maybe what the writer was going for but there were times when I was like mm, I just don't feel like but again it's because it's unapologetic and do you know what I mean but it's not over the top it's not shoved down your throat it's just a really 
good book. So, you know, if you want to borrow it from your library, buy it on Kindle, paperback, hardback, whatever, I would definitely recommend giving it a read. Um, and I'm just trying to get out of my comfort zone with books because, as you know, I read a lot of murder mysteries. So I'm trying this new thing where I, you know, I try other books people recommend. So if you do have any books for me that you'd like to recommend that you think I should do that aren't biographies, <laughs> then um, or non-fiction I, I love fiction i can't get on with non-fiction unfortunately um but please leave them below in the comments if you like any of the books that i'm recommending again leave it below in the comments um but thank you for your continued support and always keep it contento